So I'm a research assistant at the Meteorite Center, carrying out meteor research and analysis, system operations and data management, as well as recently I have joined the CubeSat laboratory as a uh, system uh, command and data handling uh, subsystem. So this year the interns came from uh, different backgrounds, different majors. So we started with them giving uh, a common base that they can build in with the basics on meteors and meteorite uh, science. And as the Meteorite Center consists of two main units, so their internship period was split into the two uh, units. So the first one uh, with the UAE Meteor Monitoring Network. So they started with an introduction about the system itself and what does it consist of, as well as going through uh, through the analysis procedures, analyzing the captured meteors by the network itself, um, as well as going through a mini research uh, project on determining uh, the meteor trajectory and impact point uh, calculations. And the second unit at the Meteorite uh, Center is the Meteorite Analysis Unit, where the interns were introduced to the various um, techniques that's used to analyze the samples using XRF and XRD uh, instruments uh, to aid them with their analysis uh, procedure. So they, had, they have gone through uh, different analytical uh, techniques using XRF and XRD um, uh, instruments where they were giving uh, several samples to analyze these samples to determine their elemental composition in order to tell if they are meteorite or terrestrial rocks. So about uh, one of the current projects which I already spoke about, the UAE Meteor Monitoring Network. Uh, it's a network that consists of three main towers located in uh, three different locations over the UAE. Each tower consists of 17 cameras uh, pointed toward the sky to capture any movement in the UAE sky. So uh, the, the, the system operates from sunset to sunrise, which captures tremendous amount of data. And this data needs to be filtered out so we can select meteors and non-meteors as uh, other objects uh, alone. So we are col collaborating with the Artificial Intelligence Lab here at the Academy as well in aiding that uh, utilizing AI applications um, and, and that's uh, where we can split out uh, and filter uh, the data and then uh, we, we do analyze uh, all these uh, captured meteors to determine their orbit uh, the radiant point from where they radiate, do they belong to a specific meteor shower or it's just random sporadic meteor um, in which it can tell us a lot about this meteor if it was like from a comet or an asteroid uh, base. So, and we are planning in the future to add three more towers to this network to have a better coverage um, and also to increase the double or pair detection uh, what do we mean by that pair detection is that the same meteor will to be captured by multiple towers. So in order to give us uh, a better uh, vision or uh, a better view from uh, that meteor to be able to estimate its possible landing location as accurate as possible. The Meteorite Center vision is to be one of the leading centers in meteors and meteorite uh, research studies.